Good afternoon and welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to install the Massive Audio EQ7. We're going to see if we could place it right here. Right under here. And we, uh, I don't know if we'll have time to hook it totally up like run RCA jacks, strong remote current, but we will try our best to install it. And these are the jacks we are going to use. Um, I didn't get a chance to organize all the ground current and remote wire. So what we're going to do is, for today, we're going to see how much we could do. We're going to see if we could install it under here. It's going to come like this. And that's it. Make sure we leave enough space for the RCA jacks to the back. And yeah, you're gonna take it from there. So let's get moving. Okay, so our first step, what we're gonna do is these are the brackets which usually go this way or this way, right? But because of the angle and the location, what I will need to do, I need to take a hammer, straighten this out. So when we straighten these two hinges, it will attach here, it will go straight. So with that, we can drill a hole on either side and bolt it up. And it should hold directly under here. So that's what you're gonna do now. You're gonna straighten these two hinges. Okay, so this is what we did so far, right? We took the brackets and we put it between a piece of cardboard paper and we pound it with a hammer straighten it up so we didn't leave no scratch marks right it still looked the same so we're going to put it on either side and with that when we screw it up we will bore a hole on the inside of each and then we'll screw it up so it will have its brace right so this is it So the next step what we're gonna do is offer it up below there, set it in place, make sure the jacks in the back will not be bouncing against the dash and um well, the inner piece of the dash, sorry, and um we're gonna body hold them. So yeah, we'll see how much we could do for the while. Okay, so this is it. Now nothing is holding it at the moment. The sword iron is hot in. So I have two soldering irons. I have a good one and an old one. The old one I use just to, to melt little holes in the plastic. So you know, the good one is to sort of speaker wire stuff, etc. But um, this is it. So we're gonna do is off of the holes. Um, it fit up nice underneath there. The reason why I took it in so far is because as you can see the edge of it here, we need to get the holes centered, right? And it, there's a lot of space in the back for the RCA jacks to go in. So. We are okay with that, so yeah, we're going to sort up in a bit. So this is how it's gonna look. Okay, and this is it. Sturdy, strong, it mount up. So next thing we're gonna do is give it some power. Power on the RC. Take out the um oh this glare. Take out this finisher. Run the RC is from the the back of the um the Pioneer VA 600 to the massive audio EQ7 and then we're gonna take the RCA jacks and put it behind here and we're supposed to hear something later this evening yeah hi good morning um this is the next day sorry about that we had a lot of rain here in Trinidad so it didn't make sense staying in the vehicle and extension cord is in the weather so we will continue from where we left off so as you could see what we did we add our ground remote and battery wire right the diffuse and stuff um making what making use of what i have right because this is sunday so stores are closed and um, what we're going to do we're going to take off the finisher um, remove the deck and wire up 
run our RCA jacks, which is here on the side. And before we install, make sure everything is working good. And all the lights are changing colors from blue to green. We are getting signal from the Pioneer to the massive audio EQ and everything is plain. Okay, so what I did is take a knife, right? And I could just run it through from on the from the top, which will make it easier to come out. And this is how your finisher comes out. Right? So with that, let me see. I'm trying to record so at least you'll see what's going on. Right. So this is mainly it here. So what you're gonna do is take off the vehicle. Um excuse if I do I don't have a action camera or a vlogging camera with a stand so I could show you all of this. This is from my iPhone success, so please bear with me, please. Okay, um I haven't reached that upgraded yet in my video, so please bear with me. I apologize if I'm not showing you everything in detail right so what i'm gonna do is take off the vehicle as i said and start hooking up all the wires then so as you can see we just disconnect the front piece so we took out all the the clips right so we took out like the um four-wheel drive switch the other features the cooling system and the hazard lights with that done we now have access to the four Phillip head screws, so we're going to take out and run our wires and stuff like that, okay? But one thing I need is to get something like a, a little bucket or a little box to put here so we could put the preamp so the wires could reach in the back. So let's see how best we could do this. Right, so I got the box just to put the preamp here for the wire, but what I need to do is push it wrong a little more. The deck is already out, right? As you can see now, what we're going to do is take the wires them from the back. So if we could run it to the preamp. Um, we need to take off this piece and transport our wires. So we may need to change this box and get something smaller. Ah, geez, taking longer than I thought. Okay. So as you can see, all the jacks are intact. We have the main in, the sub, front and rear right that is going down to the amplifiers will it going down to the matrix then to the two amplifiers and then this is our main end which came in here which going into our front and sub so what we're gonna do we're gonna solder up the we're gonna attach the ground we're gonna solder the remote and the 12 volts okay so this is where we reach it working so with that now we will hold the switch and we could change it to orange and blue. So everything is okay. So what we're gonna do is mount up the deck and put back on the finisher and install this and everything will be okay. So it's playing. I wouldn't be able to, um, to play no music here because uh, I have any rights for these. So we're gonna set it for the orange and that's it. We're gonna leave it like that. Okay, so I have to block the glare a little bit because um, it really affecting the video so as you see i'm done um everything is hooked up the only issue i'm having mm, really thought i could have um control the base and the um mid-range front and the back through the preamp but i end up um have to keep the sub around the sub directly from the Pioneer AVH 600 straight to the audio control matrix and everything else will run from here so the mid supposed to sound a little louder just waiting to sell though that um GL audio 300 slash 4 and then I will install the Soundstream Tarantula Nano um, mid range amplifier so that's about it so everything is inside so as you can see the colors are already set um, oh my gosh the colors are already set so when i am in night time let me put on the lights and show you 
as you can see i don't know if you're seeing it here it's coming up orange so everything is lighting up orange um i like how it's still stealth not nobody not really seeing it down there so this is it guys so again thank you for watching um yeah until we meet again take care bye